Hello, hello friends. Welcome to another video. Yesterday we talked about the typical hunger cues that get ignored. And today I wanted to address a question that I got on Instagram from somebody who was saying, Lissa, I just don't feel hungry. How can I eat more food if I don't feel hungry? So we're going to dive into that on this video. <laughs> Thank you once again for joining me for another Vlogmas video. Hope you're enjoying. Before we begin, don't forget we've got our meal planning app. It's $5 a month or $50 a year. You get recipes every month, new recipes that you can add to your meal plan and it generates a grocery list for you and is a great tool to use when planning your days with raw foods. So that website is www.rawfoodromance.com and as always, we've got 40% off any or all of our ebooks, over 700 oil free raw vegan recipes. The code is rawfood40 to get 40% off, and the link is right here on the screen or in the description box below. So, on Instagram, I got a question saying, But Lissa, I'm just not hungry. How do I eat more? The thing is, with hunger, like we talked about in the other video, is there's a lot of hunger cues that come into play that we tend to ignore. And we like to listen to our body. We're always told, listen to your body, listen to your body. But what we don't necessarily realize is that our body is actually listening to us and it's adapting and reacting to what we do. It's not the other way around. So for the most part, and obviously I don't want to use absolutes here, but for the most part, our hunger levels and our appetite is adjusted based on what we provide to our body. Our body is just adjusting and reacting to what we're doing. So if you're constantly under eating, and this happens a lot to so many people on a raw diet, so if you're feeling these things, know that you're not alone. It's just really difficult to know what to do when we are not taught how much we need and to listen to those subtle hunger cues like headaches or tiredness or dizziness or low concentration. Things that we think are detox, but are actually just little cues saying, hey, I'm hungry. Hey, I need a snack. Can you give me a little bit of fuel before it gets to the actual hunger stage where you're starving? <laughs> but these little hunger cues tend to be missed. And we think that our body doesn't want food because our appetite is adjusted because we're not eating enough food. It's kind of like a cycle. If we don't eat enough food, our body says, okay, well, there's not a lot of food, so I'm going to adjust appetite based on the amount of food that I'm getting. It will always react to what you do to it. So if we are giving our bodies more nourishment, our bodies will react based on that, thinking, oh wow, there is abundance. I can expect to have breakfast. I can expect to have a larger lunch. I can expect these things. So then your metabolism is upregulated and your appetite is upregulated. So as I mentioned, as much as we want to listen to our bodies, we have to also realize that our bodies are reacting to what we think it needs if we're feeling like it needs less. For example, most people go raw and then they feel like they need less because their food is more nutrient dense. And yes, the food is obviously more nutrient dense and we're getting a lot more nutrition, but that doesn't mean that we cut our calories because we do need those calories. A calorie is a a unit of energy, basically. And we need so much energy every day to run our heart, our lungs, our skin, our organs, everything. We need a certain amount of energy. Plus, we burn energy as we go about our day, our work, having kids, going for workouts, going hiking in places, beautiful places like this. We burn this energy and yes, we get the nutrition, but the nutrition is only one part of it. We need to have that energy to sustain us. And if we're not getting it, our body will adjust based on what it is provided. So even though we might be listening to our body and we might feel like, oh, I'm not that hungry, really ask yourself why. Why might you not be feeling that way? Because you still need energy and you still need that nutrition. Even though when you go raw, you're eating more nutrient dense foods and your body naturally adapts to the fact that you believe that you need to eat less. So then your appetite will naturally decrease. And then you say, oh, I need less on raw food. When in reality, your body is actually just adjusting to what you're doing and what you're believing. So we have to take a step back, <laughs> really take a step back and ask ourselves, 
how much are we getting? What are we getting? And to realize that we are on a journey, we're learning about our body, our body is learning about our beliefs and our body reacts to our beliefs. We know this, it is proven science. So thinking about that aspect of it and shifting our mindset over to an abundant one and to not feel guilty and to just learn about what our body is going through. So we enjoy our life, we observe what we choose, and we adjust accordingly because our body is doing the exact same thing. It's enjoying it, it's observing what we're doing, and then it's adjusting based on what we're doing to it. And I've noticed this within myself and obviously through the research that I've studied various articles through the years, that when you do stay consistent with the food and you eat abundantly, your body adjusts to that. And people who do naturally undereat and who have a lower appetite because they undereat, they say, I just don't feel hungry. How do I eat more? The key is to slowly start eating more. You don't need to eat a huge amount right off the bat because it could be a lot for your system, but start slow, start with breakfast, eat a little bit earlier. And I know there's going to be people who disagree with that, but if you're intermittent fasting and you're not eating until one or two in the afternoon, your body is going to adjust to that. And it's going to say, oh, well, I know I'm not going to get food until one or two. So your body's going to adjust to that. And if you start slowly moving your windows down to earlier during the day, you're able to get a lot more calories in and you won't be in a restrictive mindset. For a lot of people, this can be very restrictive. So again, grain of salt, take it with a grain of salt. Um, I'm, I'm just sharing my opinion here and I know some people might disagree, but if you feel like you just can't get all your calories, you're not feeling satiated, it could be because you're just not eating enough. In order to eat enough, you're gonna have to start eating earlier during the day. You're gonna need to add more to your meals and work your way up to allowing your body to trust you, giving yourself more calories in the morning, more calories at lunch and more calories at dinner. And obviously we're not talking about overeating. We don't wanna be eating like 4,000 calories if you're not gonna burn 4,000 calories, but we're talking about eating adequate amounts, appropriate amounts, enough to run your basic body functions and to provide you with the energy that you need throughout your day so that you can work and play with your kids and go for hikes and places like this. We need to fuel up and if you're not feeling hungry, then ask yourself why you're not feeling hungry. Track your calories if you need to. Obviously, that, like we've talked about, that's not an obsession. It's just getting to learn about the fuel that you're putting into your body. So track a little bit and see how much you're eating and really adjust based on that. If you need to start eating a little bit earlier to get more calories in throughout the day, then do so. And you might notice, and a lot of people notice this, when they start eating breakfast, the first little while, it, it might be a little uncomfortable because you're not used to it. But when you start eating breakfast, you'll notice you'll wake up in the morning and be hungry because your body's like, "Woo, it's breakfast time. I'm going to feel hungry because I, I know I'm going to get energy. So it takes a little bit of time to adjust because your body does. Again, it listens to what you're doing and it adjusts according to what you're providing it. So provided abundance and your hunger cues can come back. So. Hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you learned something or enjoyed it, please click like. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. And if you want to support us, we've got our app, our meal planning app, which is at rawfoodromance.com or you can enjoy 40% off any or all of our eBooks. The code is rawfood40, the link is on the screen or in the description box below. Until the next video, guys, I hope you are enjoying and know that you're loved, know that you're perfect, know that you're doing everything that you can and thank you for making compassionate choices. You are loved. Until the next one, fruit on.